Hello everyone, this is Karen, and today I'd just like to show you how I make my stitch holders and my stitch markers. You, for the stitch holders, you can do them in with letters, or what I do for the millimeter spore, and for the point, I put the a little spacer there, and just do that, but you could do however you want to do it. And they're really simple and easy to make. What you'll need is a head and eye pin, your beads, a lobster class, and a charm if you want to use one. And they're really simple to make. And this is how, oh, needle nose pliers. And this is how I do this. Is, we'll do the stitch holder first is I put a couple beads on. Then the letter for the, the numbers, it takes a little bit more space. So depending on how long your head and eye pin is, it depends on how much, how many beads and things you could get on there. And then after you get your beads on there, is I take my needle nose pliers and bend bend the thing a little bit and that helps hold the beads on while I'm bend while I'm making a loop out of here. And then let's see I put the lobster clasp on. And that again just depending on what size you want. There are a lot of sizes out there. I usually get a little bit bigger ones. Then you gotta make sure your is closed up real good. don't fall off. Then on the side we'll put the charm. That'd be dabbable. And you can get them anywhere. Pretty simple and inexpensive. Yeah. Turned in my hand there. There's the, I really like these stitch holders. Because they help me remember what hook I'm using if I put a project to the side. I'll have to worry about the, the hook falling out. Or me just losing the paper or whatever that I had the information written on. And these are just, I just alternate. You can do them however you want and personalize them. Just pick some random beans out. And again, just make a little loop at the end here. And just close it up there to pull out. And then that's all there is to it. Hey, okay, thank you and have a great day.